Hey everyone, hopefully you guys are having a great Saturday. Today is May 13th, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty crazy week for me at work, and just at home, because, you know, my, uh, my parents came over, and my dad pretty much did all my flooring, and he did a fantastic job. And just uh, just a few little things that, that I've been thinking about, you know, I haven't, I didn't really update anything last week. And just from last week, my starting weight was 387.3. And as of this morning, it was at 372 on the dot. And yes, all my toes, my heels, every everything was still on there. You know, I didn't I didn't cheat, okay. But you know, in in two weeks, I lost about 15 pounds. And a lot of it had to do with you know just staying on staying on my diet, physical exercise, a lot of walking, and just you know be, being a lot more active. And one thing I did switch up at the beginning of the month, actually a few days before the end of the month, I switched my diet to OMAD. And OMAD is, if you don't know, it's just one meal a day. And that one meal a day, of course, I have you know a lot of protein, I have a lot, a lot of, uh, of course, healthy fats and some of the some vegetables, and try to get as much as much nutrition I can within that that one that one time I eat. And I usually go till about noon. So at noon, I get my little little glass jar, take it to the microwave, heat it up, heat up my food, and stink up stink up my my workplace, and just go to town on it. And you know, it's when I when I make the food, I make food that I know I'm gonna like. It's not gonna be bland. It's gonna have peppers. It's gonna have spice. It's gonna have what what I like. Because if I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat something I like, and I'm not gonna want to get something that, of course, is gonna be bad. And that's where I feel like a lot of a lot, lot of people kind of falter is they just want to eat the same thing over and over and just bland food. But you, if you, this is not a diet. This is a a life changing life life changing thing. You have to you have to go for what works for you. You know, I would have never thought in a million years I would do OMAD. You know, I didn't even know what, what the heck OMAD was until you know you look online and you you look at the doctors that are that are on YouTube and you know, you have you have to do your own research and figure out what works for you. You know, me being diabetic, that's the first thing I looked up is what's a good meal for, for a diabetic or diet change for a diabetic. And they they had a like the two meal a day or the one meal a day. And I thought, well, with the help of Manjaro, you don't really have that that much of a, an appetite. So if I could transition over to one meal a day, well, I can, and get all the benefit of of course, the fasting, and just learning a new way to eat and see how that see how that worked out and to me it, it's worked out great of course you know i'm not tired I, I feel full throughout the day of course some of that has to do with manjaro but even on the on the fifth and sixth days and the seventh day when the the hunger suppression kind of wears off i'm not really that that hungry you know i just I eat my my meal at, at noon and i'm good i'm still good you know i still drink a gallon of water it's getting a little hotter out here in Vegas, so I'm probably have to drink a little bit more water. But I'm still sticking with the physical activity, and and at lunch I'm still walking as much as I can, and you know walking about a mile and a half at work, and then at home and doing a little bit more exercise. And you know it's now that I'm able to, now, now I'm able to put more of more just physical physical activity on my on my plate, which is fine with me, you know. I still do a little bit of, of resistance bands just to get you know my muscles going and try to keep them where they where they are because once I lose all this weight, you know I'm gonna have I'm gonna want to course bulk back up when it comes to muscle wise because I don't want to just be thin because I'm not a naturally thin person. I never never have been even when I was younger. I lost a lot of weight when I was down to like one, I don't know, about two oh five was the lowest I got down to. You know I was still built, you know, but I did a lot of weightlifting and I cooled muscle really good. Of course, right now it's ended up as fat, but you know it's gonna take a little, little bit to get back to where I was, back to where I was going to. And one thing that I, I actually started last week was a Dexcom, which is a continuous glucose monitor, and that has helped me realize that you know what I'm putting in my body is actually good. You know, I'm not getting any crazy spikes. My glucose has stayed. In the 80s, I think my average for the week so far has been about 83. I haven't had any spikes over 
over a hundred. Uh, the one thing that wasn't knowing though, I'm gonna have to mention that was, you know, the first day while this thing was calibrating at night, I I I, didn't, I never had a glucose monitor, so and at night for some reason when it was when it was uh, doing the calibration, it was going down to like fifty or forty or whatever it was. So it was making my phone go off like crazy. I kept trying to turn it off, you know, and it wasn't turning off. So I had to physically get in there and press the damn button to get it to turn off or else it would keep going beep, beep, beep. And this is at 2, 3 in the morning. So you're in the deep sleep. You know, you're all, you're all good. I mean, I have a mask on and that's the last thing I want to hear. My dog's getting up and barking. You know. But after it did its calibration, you know, this, I have it right here in my, arm about the little this little clear thing because the one that came with it was kind of ugly so this one actually looks a little, little bit better but it's I, I like it I, I check it out while I while I uh, about an hour or two after I eat and it lets you know where I'm at you know I ate like about an hour and a half ago and according to this I am at I don't know if you can see it uh, probably not but I'm at 98 and I had I had a great breakfast I had not breakfast but lunch because I had it about noon but I had um I had a ribeye steak three eggs uh three slices of bacon I had a little side salad just to get of course a little bit more fiber in there and of course I had had the peppers you know you gotta have the green peppers a little bit of jalapenos you know you gotta have some spice in there because I, I gotta I love the spice now a lot of people say to stay away but eh, I can't I gotta have a spice in my life and just a, a few things that we started in the Discord or in BJ BJ's at BJ Davis's Discord, and if you're not in it, you should just you should get hit. It's a it's a great place for where a lot of us, Majorians or injectors or whatever you call yourself, we all get together and we kind of shoot ideas back at each other, and just you know support each other more than anything on on just daily things and daily daily nonsense kind of goes through our heads and just the garbage is out there and one thing that uh, Vanna Manjaro started the other day on his uh his channel is and on his live was about us getting uh, this app for for walking called I think sidekick strike kick or something like that but you know we all got we all got on it and we started about three days ago I started at the competition on there 124,000 steps in a month so it's about 4,000 steps a day and a few people joined and the people that joined they've been doing great you know BJ Davis he said like once he once he got in there you know he didn't really know how how much he was walking but now he's he's staying on top of it and he's putting forth even more effort to put in more steps because he sees how everyone else is doing and you know everyone else on that thing is doing amazing and then Melissa over here is giving me, a, and especially CJ, she's giving me a run for my money when it comes to the steps, you know. But it's, you know, like I, like I said, it's, it's not a competition against each other. It is a competition against yourself. But there's nothing wrong with a little heavy little competition, even though the other person doesn't know, as long as you're competing with them. But it's all it's all fun and games, and if you just push each other to, you know, to, to do the little extra activity, go for the little extra walk, go the extra, extra lap, you know you don't have to park right at the entrance to the to the grocery store or wherever you're going park a little farther away of course hopefully no one parks next to you and dings your door <laughs> that tends to happen when you park far someone's gonna park right next to you but you know this uh we have to stay stay motivated throughout this journey because it could get boring if you let it get boring but you have to do things, you have to change, you just have to do changes throughout the day to, you know, kind of spice things up. And I feel like with this, this, um, this app, it's pretty more, has to give, we have to put more effort into, into our choices, you know, just the little extra physical activity. And a few, a lot of the good things about the community that we're all supporting each other. You know, one of the, one of my favorite channels to go on is Manu Manjaro with Dave Nat, and you know he's amazing. I, I love listening to his content, and you know he keeps it real. You know, it's, he's not all about. I mean, everyone wants views and views, but 
you know, he gives his own insight in the the issues that that happens on the on the daily occurrence. You know, that that's the main thing when it comes to all the content creators is everyone has something different. Like I love watching uh, Patrice Denise. I watch uh, T- uh, Tiffany Ortiz, B.J. Davis, Jen and Process, and there's so many much more out there where you know I just flip in and when I'm sleeping or when I'm bored, I just go into the next channel, the next channel, the next channels, but. You know, we all have our own journeys. We all have our own issues, but, and that's what this this whole community helps out with is dealing with certain situations. You know, I'm different than a lot of other, a lot of other people, but me and Dave and Patrice and Nice, you know, we're all we're we're all diabetic and we're on a little bit different of a situation when it comes to the need for the medicine. And this has helped, of course, all of us control our sugars and control our our glucose and just control our daily daily needs you know since i've been on this the, these meds you know i haven't craved any sugar haven't craved any soda haven't craved any real carbs nothing like that but again you you get what you put in if you if you give yourself nutritious meals and and you make sure that you're you have a good hearty meal but something good for you with great quality food, I mean, that's all you need. You need the minerals, you need, you know, the vitamins and all that so, and, and so forth. But, you know, Patrice and Eve, she's always so so positive. Even even when there's, there's bad situations, she, she says one day at a time, you know, you, that's all you could really do. And that's all we could, we could do at the time is just move forward. You may have one bad day, you may have a bad week, you may have a bad month, but we have a lifetime to to make these changes and this is not just a a fad a lot of people think well once you lose it you're done no no once you lose it you're gonna have to maintain and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to stay physical you're gonna have to stick with your your way of eating not just a diet just your way of eating you got to find out what works for you and that's where you got to make you have to make the best decision for yourself I'm going to be different than Dave. I'm going to be different than Patrice. And they're going to be different than anyone else out there. Because they, they know what their body needs. What their body craves. And you got you got to figure out what what the best best uh, solution is for you. And that's where I feel like with the, dis, with the Discord and just the, the GLP community. Is this this helps bridge the, the support and support. The support gap and the physical emotional gap for people like me you know I don't really have that much support out here yeah I got I got family on the phone but being out here where I am I'm, a, I'm away from everyone I don't really have that that network you know I got my co-workers and things like that but it's, it's not the same but with the help of the community it helps me to kind of stay focused on, on what the plan is realize that I'm not doing this alone. There's a lot of people that are in the same situation as me. They may have a different path, may have a different road, but we all have the same common goal. We go lose weight, get healthy, make better better choices, and just just be a better person just in general. And like I said that in other videos and many of my videos is you have to you have to learn to love yourself and that's where I feel like with this just a change of mindset it's helped me realize that I I never loved myself before. You know, I liked myself, but I never loved myself. And this is this is helping me to regain that love for myself and for me to be myself. And that's where I feel the the big difference is between just losing weight and then changing your mindset. Because we can all lose weight, no problem. But you're gonna get it back if if you let it get out of control. But this is. This is a change of mindset of, you know, I'm doing this for me, you know, uh, yeah, my friends, my family, you know, my spouse, wh- wh- whatever your thing is. But ultimately, you're doing it for yourself because you just feel better. You just feel better and you just want to go out there and you want to succeed and you don't want to fail. Even if you fall down, get back up and just fix it. You know, we're all we're all going to bounce up and down, up and down, up and down. But as long as you get to where you need to go. Hey, a road trip's not gonna be bad. I mean, a road trip's not gonna be that bad if you get a flat tire because there's always that spare. You know, you put it back, put it on, and keep rolling, rolling to the, your destination. And it's kind of the same thing. Is you just need to have a game plan and 
and know where the next pit stop is. But the, the love and support is kind of overwhelming to me. You know, we're so used to being so negative in our, in our lives that with all the love and support that we're getting from the community and from other people, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You know, we're, you know, I'm not saying that everyone's just me, just in general. You know, we, I'm always focused on the negative. I've always been focused on the negative. Most people are. Most people are focused on the negative. They want to hear, like, the gossip, the cheese, man. They want to, they want to hear the bad stuff, but no one really cares about the good stuff because it's not as, not as fun. But we don't need the negativity. We need to spread, you know, happiness, you know, the, the positivity, you know, thanking people and just being human. We're so, we're so focused on our, our self needs and the needs of anyone else. You know, help, help your neighbor, you know, love your neighbor, love the person down the street, you know, just thank anyone, thank any, everyone. And that's going to help you just more mentally too, because, you know, we always have that like, oh, I don't want to really deal with that person. But, you know, you just say, hey, good morning. How are you? You know, it, it's going to help them. You know, it's going to it's going to brighten up the mood and it's going to help you just realize how how important it is to have a, a positive community. People around you being positive. No one wants to be a negative Nancy. No one wants to be that person. And don't be that person. Just don't be. Let them be that person. You be the better person. And you know, just one just a la the last thing is you got to you got to set your goals for the for the month or the week or whatever your goal is you know my goal for this month was to hit 365 and I'm I'm pretty sure I'm gonna hit that by next next week so I mean that's my first goal my second goal man if I could hit in the 350s that'd be that'd be fantastic for the month but again you have to set realistic goals because you don't want to go too big and then you fail you're not gonna want to proceed you you got to know what your physical limitations are. You got to know what where your body's going, and what plans you have for the month. And you got to just set those goals to be achievable. You know, if you're gonna if you know you're gonna have a bad month, you're like you know I just want to try to stay about the same if anything. But if you lose, it's it's fantastic. But you got you got to realize and be be real with yourself. You know, we all we all took years and years and years and years and decades to get to where we're at. And we're all gonna have hiccups. We're all gonna have hiccups, but you, you gotta just keep keep the ball rolling. And uh, just a uh, one one okay. From last last note, you know, I bought I, <laughs> I bought a uh, bought some shirts online for work, and I didn't think they were gonna fit. You know, just three X regular. You know, I usually get like XLTs because I got a long torso, and I got these these three three XLs because what I was wearing before when I before I started this journey were. 5 XLTs and the 5 XLTs for work you know it felt like I was swimming in those things it was like rubbing against my arms giving me feels like little rashes so I bought some shirts the other day on Amazon and they arrived yesterday and they fit perfect I mean they're a little they don't they don't fit like a glove don't get me wrong they're not super super tight but they are a little loose and I was like whoa man just another week or two and I would be even better and then I we got this shirt right here Chester Cock Chester Cockerpot from the Goonies. Rest in peace, my man. Rest in peace. But if, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Love you guys. Take care. Just love everyone else. And I'm out.